everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel then welcome to you. Today I'm going to be doing the monthly uh, reads and it's for May 2020 and I will be reading for the lovely Virgos next. If you are new to my channel then what I tend to do is um, pull a collection of starter cards which then allows me to do my meditative poetry, hence my name Poetry Witch. And at the very end, I also draw out a little charm just to tie up the reading. So, my lovely Virgos, um, I did want to go back to working with the fairy uh, elements, uh, the fairy oracle cards this month. Hence why I've got the little um, pear blossom fairy uh, print here in the background, just to give us the energies of what I feel the messages are coming through for you. So, Virgo, the first card that came out was um, the actual oath fairy okay and it says promise pledge and contract and the other two fairy cards that this came out with was we had tree wisdom this tree dryad will help you navigate through your current situation her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sound it makes and then the next card that came out the fairy elements card was soulless Return to nature, tree wisdom, natural remedies and flower essences. Now what I was feeling um, with yourself, with the oath, promise, pledge, contract, okay? Some of you could be literally um, along that stance of a business contract where there'll be some new negotiations coming in, where that you can be branching out literally um, by taking on new things. But I, I do feel here that um, it is to do with uh, a business plan, a new business plan for some of you, okay? The promise and the pledge and the oath as well, it's a, it's saying as though um, you need to st uh, stand tall like the trees, okay? I feel some of you have got self-doubts at the minute about your abilities and your skills, and it, but it's saying here, the fairies are saying to you, no, you stand in your own power, you've got the, the strength here, okay? And I also want to say the Oath Fairy is saying you need to promise and pledge to yourself um, that you need to start to be doing um, things and playing to your own tune. That is why um, the Tree Wisdom Fairy okay, has come out here with that message saying her flute can reveal insight and answers through the sound it makes. So I want to say you need to go through May 2020 listening to your own vi uh, vibrational um inspirations okay at the time that we're going through at the moment um as much as the negativity that is around us in the world space okay with everything that's going on it's saying here that um keep this positive mindset um okay because if you raise your vibra vibra vibrational energy and it's to say that take this time that has been given us as a gift okay because most of the time we are running around we are doing things we you know we just do things on a daily basis but this uh, as, as negative as it is in a world sense on a health wise sense with what's going on the positive aspect for people out there okay it's allowing us the time to I want to say it's given it's like the, the world is giving us the time to um, have a second chance Okay, and this is what I was feeling with Virgos, um, second chances um, to, uh, with, you know, uh, maybe people coming back as well that you may not have heard of. Because when I was doing meditative poetry, it was as though there was an old friendship coming back in, old communication coming back in as well, where um, a chemistry spark will ignite again, where, you know, we, we meet people as we go through our life and... Um, you know, we come to different crossroads and they go off doing their own thing. But along the way, in life's journey, we do get our paths um, path, uh, crossed, uh, you know, our paths crossed again. And I do feel for some Virgos this month, um, this is what the fairies were saying, that, you know, um, there's deep-rooted friendships here where you know that you've, you may not have spoken to somebody for two, three, four years, but you know because of the roots of that friendship are there, when you come to communicate back with them, when your paths cross again, you can literally, the chemistry just sparks again as though it was yesterday when you saw them. And this was the energies I was um, sort of feeling with some of my Virgos out there, okay? So the next card that came out for you, my lovelies, was 
the page of swords okay and it's saying you're holding on to so many creative ideas so many ideas that are running through literally it, i want to say to you if you've got all this a thing all these things going through your head it, it may be that there's worries as well that are troubling you little underlying issues where it's saying the message is here get a journal get a book and start to write things down it, you know even if it's just dreams and wishes that you want to try and manifest in the future if you start to journal them down okay it's like you're pulling it out um to the universe and i want to say a little message here a little bit of guidance okay when you go to bed at night and the last five minutes before you close your eyes i want you to lie in your bed space or wherever it is when you you know you're resting okay before you, you sleep at night and put out to the universe because we're all connected okay don't like a lot of us do we go to bed and think oh i've got to do that tomorrow i've got to do this i wonder what's going to happen there i need to do that at the end of the week and we're, we're, we're sort of living you know you know in this um in, in this future stance okay and it's saying be present when you're in bed at night be present in the here and now okay and lie there and say to yourself you know i am happy I am abundant, I am grateful for what I've got, okay, okay, it may be that you're going through difficult times at the moment, it may be that you're in grief, it may be that, you know, these are lessons and you have to thank even though the, there's bad things happening at, at, around us at this time, just be thankful for small mercies, okay, just manifest there within you and, and sort of get all this positivity out and saying I am abundant I am happy I am grateful for my family I am grateful for the love that I receive I am grateful for the fact that you know the money that I do have gets me by okay just go on the positivity because then what it is you are putting those thoughts and feelings into your subconscious okay so when you do sleep you are going to sleep on a positive vibrational level so that when you wake up the next morning okay you you start the day in a more positive aspect and and over time this builds up so it's just a little i felt like i needed to say to that view virgo because i just feel some of you do sit there sometimes and think if i only did this if i did that if i did the other maybe if i did this or do that so don't let don't run away don't let your um ideas feelings run away with you because that's what i feel like here she's holding these light bulbs and all this you know all these things that need to be dealt with but it's saying prioritize and put the positivity down in a journal as i said write it so i feel that was a lesson for you that came out with those cards so then we have the five of air okay and the five of air um i just felt for some of you it's like i say uh you've been living in this really busy busy time not you know not having the time to think so it's saying, you know, take this space that we've been given, take this precious time that we've been given to breathe, okay? Literally breathe here. And with the blindfold on the five of air, on the actual artwork itself, okay? It's saying that you are getting a realisation in May 2020. There's a lot of things that will start falling into place for you. It's like a, um, a light, literally, I want to say, a light bulb moment, Virgo, Okay you'll have quite a few light bulb moments in may 2020 but it's saying here because I, i'm going to go on the vibe now of people who i'm picking up with struggle with themselves okay they are the judge and jury they are a harsh judge to their past and it doesn't matter what's happened in our past whether right or wrong whether we've done mistakes it's a lesson of life okay don't dwell because I know there's some of my Virgos out there dwelling really badly and um, being the judge and jury to their own conscience, okay? What you have done, you have done, you cannot rectify, okay? You can rectify in a sense if you feel you have been selfish, you haven't helped people as much because the way we learn in this life, the more you give, the more you help, the more you serve, the more abundant you get back. If you sit there thinking in lack of your money, and your finances and thinking i'm struggling i i know where's the next money going to come from how am i going to pay my bills you are trapping yourself into that vibrational energy you need to learn and get escape from this you need to sit there and think you know 
the money will come. I'll be looked after. I'll be fine. I'm abundant. I can deal with this. Okay? Start to serve others. Start to be generous and you will get back twice fold. Okay? And that's another little lesson <laughs> that I feel that I need to be spouting out to some of my Virgos out there this month. So, my lovelies, I'm going to start shuffling the cards a little bit more to see what else is coming out for you. Okay? But it's saying here, um, you need to be strong. You are strong. Some of you don't realise how strong you are. And you may have had weak moments. Like I say, you could have gone through depression. You could have had doubts with yourself as, as a person, judging, you know, why you're even here, what's your purpose, you know, filling your mind. When you stop thinking about things, when you stop trying too hard, okay, go with the flow. And things will start to come in naturally okay and this is going to be a big light bulb moment for some of you um, as we go through uh, May so let's have a look what else we've got for you Virgs and we have the nine of water okay and I feel some emotions here some old emotions being stirred up as I said there's some of you dwelling in your past okay and i also feel as well some virgos um on the romantic side of things now i'm going to turn on to the romantic side of things because there's a diamond in the nine of water okay and there's some some virgos out there having this uh, period of where they've had more time together okay as a family or what have you I do feel here that with the diamond here, this is about how people have been around you. They have been literally a diamond to you, okay? There's people out there who have helped you over this difficult time and you've you blessed, basically, Virgo. You've realised how blessed you are and that you have got some diamonds around you, as in the metaphorical sense of people, okay, who've got your back, who've looked after you, who are there to support you. And everything else so that's what I feel there because I do feel an emotional uh, pull on the, on some of my verbs so let's have a look what else we've got and again on the romantic I do feel that you know some of you are going through an emotional time you're missing your loved ones as well some of you are missing having that close contact um, as well but it's saying here just know that um, they aren't going anywhere okay they are a diamond they are a trooper okay that romance, uh, that person, that connection is there. And as I said, I do feel that there was some of these old um, communication. You know, I do feel that you're going to get a, um, an email or a text or something on social media where something's just going to pop up and you haven't heard, you know, hello, stranger, how are you type of scenario. And you'll think, oh, and now the chemistry just picks up because, you, you know, as I said, that friendship is rooted. Um, and it doesn't matter how long you haven't spoken to somebody, it's a strong friendship. So then we have the two of fire, okay? And this is about um, that lesson I was on about. You have wearied yourself, some of you Virgos out there, with the troubles that you take on and the troubles of others, okay? To a point of exhaustion, some of you are feeling exhaustion. Things have been a tall order. I always look at the giraffe as the metaphorical sense of, you know, you've had um, things around you that have been tough, okay? Trials and tribulations that have wearied you. But it's saying here, you are being taken out of that, okay? You are being taken out of that intense situation because of the fire elements. And you are being guided. So just go with the flow. Don't overthink things, okay? And just go with the flow. So what I'm going to do now is read you one of the... Um, moon goddess affirmation cards here and I did want to say to you as well um, I did feel that somebody is talking about some of my Virgos behind their back not saying it to your face and it's just to be mindful really about that okay that I did sense there was somebody uh, bad mouthing um, you know literally talking uh, um, being sort of nicey nicey to your face but behind your back that's sort of you know spreading the poison so just to be mindful of that it's not going to affect everybody um it could even be a warning to some of you out there Virgs, if you are in this stance yourself where you are bad mouthing somebody else and just to say you know what comes around uh, goes around so you know if somebody's upset you uh if you have got qualms or quibbles then don't let it consume you and, and try and resolve it in a different manner than 
um, putting this negativity about okay try and resolve it um, you know in the right way and, and not to cause more hostility uh, that's what I feel like I want to say to some of you um, on predictions for you this month um, Virgo I just felt that um, there was an anniversary coming round for some of you in May of a loved one in spirit that will be drawing close to you uh, in, in the month of May I also feel there'll be news of a pregnancy at the end of May for somebody who has been trying but I feel that they would have had to have fertility treatment and I do feel it will be twins now, now that's definitely not going to resonate with everybody but I had a real strong connection that twins were going to be announced towards the end of uh, May start of June and it'll be a shocker because <laughs> you've gone from this uh, nowhere near of getting pregnant you've gone down this fertility route for some of you and it's wow twins and I do feel boys twin boys okay not one of each I do feel whoever I'm connecting with on the Virgo stance it's twin boys that are coming back in okay so again that's just going to be you know for a few even just maybe one so let's have a look what the affirmation card is for you Virgo and we have I will use my talents and abilities. These cards, okay, they just amaze me really. A new phase, a new contract, I feel. Your uh, business plan, I feel a business plan for some of you, as I said at the start. And it's saying here, you've got everything you need within you. And with the uh, romantic side of things, a new moon, a new start, I feel someone coming back in on a, on a friendship link where the chemistry just takes back off from old times but I also feel that um, there's something new blossoming here on uh, on the romantic side it could be that somebody out there has been sort of speaking to somebody on a social uh, you know network site and over the period of time you've found a chemistry there between you you've got things in common and I just feel this is a new phase um, and a new friendship or another a new love uh, aspect here that will go into June and continue okay so again that's not going to resonate with all of you but that's the message that I've got so I'm going to read you my little bit of meditative poetry now guys what I've done for the month of May so let's have a look what we've got and we have so comes the promise a pledge to yourself a contract you will draw up with your soul Time to free up some sacred space to let creative ideas flow. Solus will be your saviour, get connected again with the earth. Like the roots of a tree, ground yourself, allow new ideas to birth. Spread work responsibilities with others, take a load off your shoulder to grace. Beware that someone is saying things behind your back and not to your face. Like the trees in the forest, you need to stand tall. Let your mind beat to the tune of your own heart. For some there will be an old friend communicating that will ignite but a chemistry spark. So yeah, so my poetry sort of um, ties it in with the cards that uh, I've um, done the reading for you today. So just to tie up this reading now, Virgo, I am going to pull a little charm out of here for you. So we'll have a scooch about, see what comes out for you. <laughs> and we have Ellie the elephant, okay? And I always look at the elephant as never forget. And as I said, at this time, I feel that on the general collective, there is these true diamonds that have been around you. And it's saying you will not forget their generosity and you will not forget their help in times of need. And also with the ears of the elephant, okay, I do feel that some of you will be hearing some good news coming in at the end of May and especially for those who I said were the predictions I felt with the fertility treatment and there'll be news of twins, okay, so that is why um, this elephant has come out. And I also want to go on the trunk element here, as in you need to put things away, lock things away, you know when I said to you, you're going back and dwelling and everything else it's carp i can never say that word carp mentalizing things you can't change the past so it's saying you know think of your mind as a big trunk okay not as an elephant trunk but a big trunk where you can lock things away put those thoughts away lock them away and forget them 
okay because they're just taking your energy they're taking your time so that is why the elephant has come out for you so my lovely virgos i hope you can take something away with that reading today my lovelies and um i hope you have a good may 2020 and i'll look forward to reading to you next time take care then bye